well. Very, very great, uh, very good sense of smell. Let's imagine that we've uh, been walking around the sand and for some reason our stingray has gone to sleep. Shouldn't really happen. And we've actually trod on him. Now, boys and girls, stingrays don't have uh, a voice. They don't have arms or legs, so they can't take you to get off them, and they can't hit you off or kick you off. So the only thing they can do is to actually sting you. And I'll try and give you a bit of a scenario. So the stingray is sitting right where he is now. Let's pretend my stick is the table. So it's nice and flat, like the stingray. You go and tread on him. Straight up in the air, okay? Now, also on the tail as well, we've got a stinging barb. So what has actually happened to people in the past, of course, they've trod on the stingray, he's flicked his tail up, and it's some people in the foot. Now two things can actually happen. Stingray can simply go boop and swim away, and you've just got a little bit of a hole there. Or it can actually sting you and can actually break off into your foot. So we're going to pick the worst one today, okay? We're going to pretend that a stingray. Now when we're talking about the bar, who finds fences? Who's ever had a splinter? It's like a big splinter. Let's think of it like that, okay? So just like imagine a wooden bit of splinter in your foot. So nothing really that scary. The problem is, though, boys and girls, it's very, very painful. Okay, it's like, you know what I mean, bit by beer or what? Yeah, it hurts, doesn't it? <laughs> so, if you imagine it's like a really bad wasp thing, only probably 300 times worse. Alright, so we've got this barb inside of our foot, mums and dads. Your child's running up and down the beach, screaming, they've got this barb in their foot. What are we going to do? You don't have any ideas. Before I even give you a hint, throw me out your answers. I've heard them all. Pull it down. Yeah, the doctor, yeah, well, no, that's, that's technically true, yeah. The problem is, though, we want to do something now because we're in a lot of pain. I mean a lot of pain. This is supposed to be the worst thing of any animal. So, really, you want to know what to be able to do. Throw some more answers out of me. Yep. Whoa, I want to see the answer to that, but there's too many little young ears here. I'll, I'll try and give you the nice version, okay? It, it can't go in, it can't come out the same way it went in. It's got to come out the opposite way. Does anyone get that? Okay, you don't, yeah, you don't want to do that. So. Alright, but yeah, uh, okay, I've heard peeing on your foot. I've heard rubbing sand on it, pulling it down, such a life. It's been a lot over the years, but guys, that's not going to help. It's actually, all those things are actually going to make it work. It's going to irritate it, okay? So we've still got a bit of a problem. Still got the screaming child, get this thing out of my foot. Alright, let's imagine a chicken egg, okay? Everyone had eggs for breakfast? Yep. How does everyone like their eggs? What was that? You like your eggs boiled? Why is that? Is that so that everything doesn't move around and get all yucky inside? Well, let's imagine that our, our uh, venomous inside us is like the egg white. Okay, it's the same consistency, it's protein based. We don't want it moving around inside of us. So what are we going to do again? We're going to boil it. Very good. Now, in saying that, doesn't mean you're going to pop next door to the neighbors and next to the beach and boil up a pot of water and put your foot in it. Like some people have actually done and give themselves burns. We're actually just going to put our foot in hot water that we can actually stand. It's not going to burn us, but it's hot enough that it's actually going to congeal all that fluid together. Does that make sense, everyone? So, therefore, it's not traveling through your body, it's basically just congealing it into one area. Now, then you're all right with what you're saying about the bar's got to come out. Straight to the doctor. And then we've got to get the doctor to pull the barb out, we've got to get the wound all cleaned up. Okay? So, in saying that, boys and girls, I don't want you guys going to the beach and worrying about the race, right? because the really, really good thing is, as I said, they can see you coming and feel you coming and feel you coming before you even get anywhere near them, and they like to swim away. So, very, very rarely do you ever get sun. The unfortunate ones that have actually been sun, as I said, have accidentally jumped into the water and surprised the stingray, or caught them on their fishing line. I'll give you a bit of a scenario there, guys. This happens all the time. Um, you know, guys out doing his fishing, gets the stingray on his hook, brings it on the boat on his pinny. Stingray out of the water, therefore it's freaking out, tails flying around like this, and he leans over to get the bath. Okay? Well, sorry, to get the uh, get the hook out, I should say, in the chest. So, a really, really dangerous thing to do. What I would suggest, if you've got the stingray there, Without getting close enough, maybe you've got a broom or something, try and get the stingray any way you can into the water without being close enough and the stingray is going to be able to see this. It will be freaking out and uh, we'll try and uh, fresh out that way. Alright, um, so we've covered first aid, we've covered uh, where these guys are found.